Hi, my name is Yoshi Ota. I'm a director of Nippon Foundation Nurse Program. I'd like to present the conclusion of our book, Predicting Future Oceans. Predicting Future Ocean is a really complex job because we have so many drivers, elements, and spheres and areas that we need to think about. This is how this book is actually appears. We have consideration of the climate change. We need to think about species shifting. For that, we need a modeling and then changing fisheries. And May, which basically means there's so much uncertainty. We could manage to do this wonderful and amazing job because we are the group of 18 institutes. We're the group of 50, and actually more than 50, a lot of fellows and associates, absolutely talented mind, who devote themselves into the specific disciplinary, but also open-minded to work together to really bring comprehensive vision and views of the future ocean. And this book is all from our publications. It's evidence-based. We treated this future ocean as a socio-ecological interaction, and it is current and also future oceans. We have state of the fisheries, we have marine ecosystem, we have climate change, we have coastal communities, we have ocean governance are all written in various chapters and very specific but yet broadened perspectives and we treated them as interacting pieces. So, I'm gonna quickly jump on to the conclusion. We have two points. One, impact of global environmental change will be overall negative. Ecologically, we have seen the loss of biomass, we've seen shifting distribution and change of the biodiversity. Economically, we have seen the revenue of the fishery will be concentrated in certain places. We have seen the reduce of the employment. And then politically, there is issue of the conflict. Also, second point of the conclusion, we have increases in global and the local inequalities. This is inequalities concerns library food for many people, food, safety and sovereignty for various groups and communities and the access of the people to the sea, not just for the fishing, not just for the food, but for their culture and identity. This really two conclusive points is coming from multiple considerations of different relationship and the mechanism between those four and five spheres. They're multi-scale, Sometimes local impact will go up to the global. They're compounded. One impact will combine it with another impact and they make it even bigger. They're complex interactions which actually put two or three elements together. And there are trade-offs. It's difficult to know which one actually goes over the other one. It's really heterogeneous. It's really diverse. For instance, climate change impact. It's just really in a state of constant flux. And it really is a non-uniform because human activities, such as fishing, of course, will influence the impact. And development alternative industries are really affected. And also, if the ocean changes, then capacity to manage has to change. We need to think about integrating and adaptive management. We have to think about transboundary management because fish are moving, we are moving. Modern technology is extremely helpful and needed. And multiple use of the ocean space. How can we manage different stakeholders? So ocean governance becomes really important. Diversity in communities response. One community responds very different from the other. Scientific legitimacy and oversight. How can we assure that? Local knowledge and trust. Working with cross-cultural is very difficult, but it must be done. State capacity and willingness. 
It's not just only the policymaker's job, it's everybody's work to do it. Legitimacy, transparency, and accountability. Those are not just a word. This is something we need to do. And for that, we have to be critical to our limited worldview. So, we achieved this wonderful job of doing predicting future oceans with 18 institutes and in so many collaborators. And this is a very comprehensive book. But while we are writing this book together, we had one more question. Who and why we're predicting future oceans for? And that was a question we all had it in our mind. We are writing it for ocean and equity. We consider to protect human rights and the dignity really important, of course. We consider to ensure the equity and quality among peoples and communities. We also consider improvement of the food and human security. This is what this book is all about. So to conclude, future ocean will be unequal. Our response to the ocean changes is really critical. Seek for both ecological and societal outcomes. And we have to put the equity center concern for ocean governance. Thank you very much.